Hey guys, welcome back to Our Hungry Writer Books. I'm Brittany, and today I have another book haul for you. These are some more books that I have gotten in the month of December for either my birthday or Christmas. So I'm trying to keep the hauls shorter, so I'm just doing like a, I don't know, six or seven books at a time. Um, I'm not sure uh, how long or how many I'm going to do, so I'll just, I don't know, probably do at least three or four more hauls this month. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I get the majority of my books used, and so even as gifts, like when my parents buy me books for birthday or Christmas, I usually get them used, and so they're usually about $3, 3 or $4 a piece, and so I end up getting quite a few. So yeah, let's get started. These are some recent Christmas acquisitions that I got. So the first one is Angela Carter's Book of Fairy Tales, um, and this is a book I've wanted for ages. Um, it's such a beautiful book. I really love the cover and the illustrations of it. And it's pretty much exactly what it says. It is a book of fairy tales <coughs> edited by Angela Carter. It has all different types of illustrations and they're from all different parts of the world. And it just seems like a really, really great read, really interesting, especially if you're a big fan of folk folklore or fairy tales. So I knew I had to have this in my possession. Next is called Fernie by James Long, and it says a house full of secrets, a love affair like no other. So this follows a young couple who moves to the countryside, and the wife meets an older gentleman, and he somehow knows everything about her. And I think this involves some sort of time travel or reincarnation theme going on. So I love this type of theme, especially in love stories. So I definitely will be picking this up very soon. Um, one of my favorite books that involves this is My Name is Memory. Um, and it has a similar vein as this, so I'm hoping that this will be just as good as that one. Next up is a book that I just found randomly, and I really kind of got drawn in by the description. It says Mountains of the Moon by IJK, and um, this follows a woman who's in her 30s who gets released from prison. She kind of gets a chance to start over in a new home, um, but then as time goes on, her past starts to catch up with her, and I remember reading in the reviews that it is really unreliable and you're not quite sure um, whether the narrator is of sound mind and so I really like unreliable narrators and I just think this sounds super interesting. Next up is another one that's been on my wish list for a long time. It is The Peculiar Life of a Lonely Postman by Dennis Thrall. So this follows a man who is a postman and he is very bored with his life and he's kind of feeling un... He feels unexcited by the life that he lives, so he starts uh, steaming open the envelopes of his of the mail that he's processing, and reads other people's mail. And one day he opens up a piece of mail, and it is just a single haiku poem inside. And so he starts following the letters of this um, separated couple who's just basically sending each other poetry, and it's um, him following along with their love story. So it just sounds really interesting. It's kind of a, it's a really short book, but um, it sounds like it's gonna pack a powerful punch. Next up is There May Be a Castle by Pierce Torday. And I haven't read anything by this author, but I know he has quite a big backlist. Um, I do own one of his adult fiction novels, which I know I will get to soon, but this I found and just had to have it. It sounds so awesome. It follows this young boy who is traveling to his grandparents' house with his family and their car goes off the road on an icy on an ice patch and crashes and when he wakes up he's all alone in a magical landscape with a talking horse and they're supposed to be fighting this castle and everyone keeps telling him that it is his story to create and his world to make his own so it just sounds really magical and really interesting and i'm sure that it will be a very touching story next up is a short story collection called sister emily's lightship and other stories by jane yolen who writes a lot of um, fantasy stories um, and like retellings of fairy tales. So I knew that this is a short story collection that I really wanted to own. It has 28 stories in it. I think all of them have to do with magical elements and fairy tales. So I'm really excited for that one. I think this has won a couple of awards, um, but it just sounds excellent and I can't wait to get to it. Next up is a very recent release and it is The Museum of Kathy by Anna Stothard. And this is published by Salt. So this follows the story of Kathy who started out in childhood as a feral child. She was just kind of roaming the lands in an English countryside without any parents or anyone to take care of her. 
And she comes from this really savage past. And now she's trying to be a young woman who's involved in the art industry. And she keeps this odd collection of objects and items that basically summarize her life. And that's where the, the title comes from. Um, but she does meet a young man and I think it kind of follows their love story and their journey and just almost like a coming of age tale. So I thought this sounded really quirky and different and I love salt so I know they won't let me down. So the last book in this haul is going to be Vigil by Angela Slatter. And this was a book that I stumbled across in Blackwell's when I was in Scotland and I didn't get it and I really wish that I would have. So when I found it for I think it was like four dollars online I knew I wanted to get it. So this is a genre bending novel that has to do with kind of science fiction as well as like a police procedural. So the main character is half human and half weird is what they call it. And so she kind of is this this um, gateway in between these two worlds and is trying to help to be a messenger between the two. Um, and it just sounds really interesting. I love the cover so much. And this is an author I've been wanting to explore for a really long time. So I'm really happy to own this and to give it a try. So let me know if you guys have read any of these or if you're interested in any of them. If you want to go out and buy them or read them this year, let me know. I would love to hear in the comments down below. And until next time, happy reading, guys.